Our next guest is making data storage easy. And it's about time, isn't it? Because we talk all the time about backup, 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 and get all those pictures off your phones and just all the important stuff that you need to do in terms of storing your data. Well, here's an opportunity to talk with the sales and strategic accounts guy, probably the director. I think we'll call him CEO. No, that would probably get him fired. From Drobo, it's D-R-O-B-O, Brett Best. Brett, welcome into tomorrow. How you doing? Thank you. I'm doing fantastic. Glad to have you with us because it's storage has become so important for everybody. I mean, it used to be like, yeah, okay, whatever. I got a little bit in my phone and I'm fine. Well, not anymore. Uh, where have you seen the whole storage industry going just in the last couple of years, let alone into tomorrow? Oh, the growth has been absolutely crazy. Uh, you think just a few years ago, a one gigabyte drive, that was huge. But yeah. now a one gigabyte file is <laughs> pretty common. So talk about terabytes and terabytes and terabytes and, and the advancement in data storage and where do you keep all of that data? And more importantly, how do you keep it safe? Yeah. Ah, see, there's the key exactly. It's not only the data, but so many people want your data. Whether they think they want it or not, they still might want to get at it to see if there's anything important there. And there probably is. Mm. So how, do you, how does Drobo go about not only keeping the data, but keeping it safe? Sure. Well, so we use our own version of RAID, and it's a, it's a RAID enclosure. We've got different and models. And by that, we don't mean bug spray. It, right. It's a different kind of RAID. Correct. Just for those who may not be all that familiar, tell me, tell me what RAID is. You got it. So <laughs> RAID is a, it's a formatting of hard drives in one device. What you're gonna, it's, it's to protect hard drives from failing. Mm. So if a hard drive does fail, all your data is still intact and accessible. On another drive. On another drive, yeah, exactly. exactly. Okay. Yep. So it's all done within these devices, the enclosures, which will do magic things with your data to make sure that, it, that all that's kept intact. I like that. That's, a good, that's the best description I've heard. It'll do magic things with your data. And ooh, it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> and that's awesome. So tell me about this particular one. And again, those listening on the radio, have no fear. Come by and uh, look at the, the interview for Drobo and uh, Brett at intotomorrow.com when you get an opportunity. But Chris is now showing you this particular uh, storage device. What is this one called? Yes, this is our Drobo 5D. The Drobo 5D. All right. And, and why is it 5? Well, <laughs> great question. So we're all about keeping things simple and easy. So 5 stands for 5 bays. Ah, D so stands if I lift this cover, yes. I'm going to show ooh, 5 bays in there. Check that out. There you go. So there's a couple of hard drives and room for three more and easily dealt with. Yes, exactly. So you don't have to fill it up with all five bays to get you going. Actually, just two or three or four, however many you want to use. And because if you're like the rest of us, you probably have a bunch of older drives from other PCs, and they're still good, if they're still good. Yeah. Use them, yep. right? And slide them into a bay here, and you got your data protected and backed up and covered. Yep, absolutely. And what's great, so this is where we our own spin on the RAID would come in is for a traditional RAID, you have to use the same size hard drive, the same manufacturer, the same type. Everything has to be universal. For us, you can actually mix and match hard drives, different sizes, different manufacturers, different speeds. Throw them all in there. The Drobo is going to do everything else on its own. So the Drobo will think for us because that's been a problem for a lot of people. It's like, uh-oh, you got a mismatch. Nothing's going to work, let alone the additional drive you just put in. It's, forget it. It just wants to quit. Correct. Drobo is going to fix it so that I don't have to think about it. Right. Oh, my God. I like not having to think. <laughs> <laughs> and and that's some of that magic sauce that you guys have that, <laughs> that make it all work. Can we spin it around? Folks love to see Absolutely. the back of things. They want to see connectors or, you yep. know, whatever else. And, of course, we have, an, we have a, a good little power supply here. That's always helpful and important. Yep. So, again, 5D, 5 is for the 5 bays, D is for direct attached, meaning it's going to plug directly into just one computer. It's okay. designed to do. Gotcha. You have USB 3 and 2 Thunderbolt ports on this one, so you can ah. use either Mac or PC. That's good. So it's by digital. Mm -hmm. All right, that's yep. handy. And a place for, uh, for the obviously, for the AC to plug in, yep, exactly. which you will then most likely want to have with a UPS unit. And I'm not talking about a delivery guy in a, you know, in a brown uniform. I'm talking about the uninterruptible power supply so that you're protecting this valuable data. Yes. Yeah, it's always a great idea. One of the neat features about Drobo that a lot of people don't actually know is the battery backup within the unit. There's a, a battery backup in case of a power failure. You have one in the unit? Inside here, you bet. Yeah, nice. and there's a small USB uh, cache drive. So any data that's even in transit upon power failure, will the battery backup will kick in take that data to the, from the USB drive right to your disks and shut itself down. Nice. Well, there's still enough of its own power to say, don't worry, got you covered. Yep. So even ah. even as you're still in 
motion to the Drobo, your day is always going to be protected. Now give us some idea price-wise. Where do they start and how high do they go up? Right, we have a four-bay model that's 300, it's 299. Okay. And then upwards, we have a five bays, eight bays, and a 12-bay SAN, which is really meant for server environments. Oh, okay, gotcha. Uh, that's 39.99. All right. And, and by that, you don't mean under $40. You mean under 4000 Correct, okay. yes. <laughs> Just yep. making sure. Yep. You know, it's all, don't want to confuse anybody. Uh, and, uh, and, of course, you're introducing that 8-bay NAS unit. Exactly. Three, about three weeks ago, that was released. So okay. it's, a, it's a gigabit Ethernet uh, NAS, uh, 8 bays. Each bay will hold up to 6 terabyte drives. Wow. So you get nice large storage, <laughs> up to 48 terabytes in there currently. Holy cow. As well, uh, one of the neat features about it is... Two of the bays can be dedicated for SSDs. So it gives you a nice data cache. It gives you uh, some tiering. It basically is improving both reads and writes by about 30%. Awesome. Well, Brett, you're a delight to chat with and keep making cool products. We want to talk more about them. Drobo.com. It's just like it sounds. Easy to remember, too. D-R-O-B-O.com. Does it mean anything in particular? The uh, name? It came from Data Robotics. That's, oh. That was the original name uh -huh. of our company, right? So, okay. So think about it like a data robot. There you go, Data Robotics. So Drobo, I love it. We'll link you there, too, to Brett's site and see what he and his team are working on on a regular basis when you hit us up at intotomorrow.com. I'm Dave Graveline coming to you from Marlins Park. We're broadcasting from the field right here in the stadium and talking to as many of the exhibitors as we can cram into the show this week. Thank you for joining us into tomorrow. Stay tuned for lots more on the Advanced Media Network.